in our operation we do run both livestock and grain. Um, so we've got some advantage there of being able to use some perennials and other things, alfalfa in the rotation, um, big blue stem, Indian switchgrass, western wheatgrass type things. Western wheatgrass is one that's very good at salinity. Maybe implementing a rotational grazing or something would be an option. The trouble we have is making it economical. Taking a $5,000 acre piece of ground and putting it into a grazing system doesn't necessarily pay for the bills. Um, keeping our debt down, we have lots of options on doing things, but when we look to expand into new ground, that becomes an issue. Can we really incorporate that livestock effectively um, and still be able to pay that type of rent or things or getting a landowner to see that value? Um, will they reduce the rent for the years that it's in a perennial? The challenge is a lot of times guys look at the salinity spot and want to plant something in that spot. But the salinity is originating up on top of the hill. Um, that's where if you can get something in alfalfa or a grass growing it in more of the field, a bigger area, we can stop that salinity or that transfer of nutrients before it gets there. The issues we have is it, the ground's been farmed 100 years before us already. So there's a lot of that has gone into those spots and removing that's not just a one or two year process. A lot of these salinity areas, you know, especially when margins are tight, I mean, the yield is so low and, and everybody just, we just keep going over them. We're putting seed on, putting fertility, you know, hopefully not putting very much on for fertility, but you put all this money in and you, you got way negative margin to pulling down your better producing areas. So I mean really the only way to fix them is put it in perennial grass and then when you get them fixed if you take it back out make sure you keep the intensity above them where the salt the saline's coming from uh, higher. So you gotta use more cover crops try to get your water intensity used higher and, and just make sure that when you put that in the cover make sure you go out past the salinity area with the grass. You gotta go up up the side slope a ways. Yeah, you're not going to get a lot of money out of that grass, but it's going to save you losing hundreds of dollars on inputs by farming it. If we can get the landlord involved with that, it um, makes it a lot easier. And it is, it is a challenge as more and more the landlords are two and three generations away from the farm. They don't have that direct connection to the land. Um, bringing that story to them, uh, it's interesting seeing the reaction to people. Um, some have no interest, they're just after the, the top dollar, whatever their manager tells them they should be getting. Others do take an interest in it, but it is sometimes a slow process and it may not happen in one visit. I mean, it takes, takes time. So far we haven't found many that are willing to take us up on that offer, um, but that is a, a way of dealing with it, putting it into a perennial for a number of years.